guys welcome to another little one of the hidden corners of my sewing room I'm doing a informal little series where I'm just posting quick little videos about how I organize different parts of my sewing room so that you can see how I'm able to stay so organized even though I have a ton of stuff in my sewing room so today we're gonna talk about rulers and how I keep all of those in one place and I always know where they are. And to do this, I purchased a office supply. This is like a hanging file folder. This one came from Target. I will link it in the description box below. But what I love about it is that, first of all, it's gold, so it matches everything. But secondly, it's very, very deep. As you can see, there is a lot of surface in here, that a big basket that will hold lots of rulers. So in here, I've got a variety of rulers. I've got all of my um, clear see-through rulers. I have a few different sizes of those. I have my um, all my curved rulers, like this guy here is a hip ruler that I have in here. So it really is able to hold those kind of funky shaped rulers as well. I've got all of my stitch buzz rulers. I've got um, these curved ones, my sleeve pocket template. I've got the quick pocket, which helps you make welt pockets. I'll be talking about that soon. I've got my stretch ruler. I've got my curve runner. I've got it all in here. And so everything, like I said, is in one place. And I know if I'm looking to measure something or <laughs> use any of these rulers, I know exactly where to go for it. Now you're asking me now in your mind or maybe out loud to your computer, what about the big, big, big rulers that won't fit inside this basket? Very good point. So what I have done down here is because this is open, like open basket, I basically took a um, S hook if I can get it undone now. <clears throat> An S hook like this, you can find them at the hardware store in a variety of sizes. And I have hooked the S hook to the back side of um, this little basket. And then my ruler just hooks right on there and hangs underneath the basket. Obviously, you could put a nail in the wall and just hang them that way from the nail. But for me, I like that I could add multiple uh, S hooks going out, 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 out and have them all hanging separately from each other. Have you ever gone to get one of your big rulers that's hanging from a nail and you need the one in the back? <laughs> Inevitably, you always need the one in the back. It's so annoying. Um, and you take them all off to get the one on the back and then put them all back on there. It's so annoying. So with this system, you can, it's almost like a clothing rack. It's almost like, uh, you know how they have the rugs <laughs> in the stores, like on different rungs. So you can grab one, even if it's in the very back and it won't disturb any of the other ones, which is really, really great. So yeah, so that's how I store all of my rulers. Um, if you have any questions about my system or if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my system, I am always here for that as well. But throughout this entire series, if you have any uh, specific areas in your sewing room that you don't know how to organize and you're looking for some advice or some help, leave that in the comment section too. But that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.